This book is called Last Stop on Market Street. Book by Matt de la Pena. Pictures by Christian Robinson. CJ pushed through the church doors, skipped down the steps. The outside air smelt like freedom, but it also smelt like rain, which freckled CJ's shirt and dripped down his nose. He ducked under his Nana's umbrella, saying, how come we gotta wait for the bus in all this wet? Trees get thirsty too, his Nana told him. Don't you see that big one drinking through a straw? CJ looked for a long time but never saw a straw. From the bus stop, he watched water pool on flower petals, watched rain patter against the windshield of a nearby car. His friend Colby climbed in, gave CJ a wave, and drove off with his dad. Nana, how come we don't got a car? Boy, what do we need a car for? We got a bus that breathes fire. And old Mr. Dennison, who always has a trick for you. The bus creaked to a stop in front of them. It sighed and sagged and the door swung open. What's that I see? Mr. Dennison asked. <laughs> he pulled a coin from behind CJ's ear, placed it in his palm. Nana laughed her deep laugh <laughs> and pushed CJ along. They sat right up front. The man across the way was tuning a guitar. An old woman with curlers had butterflies in a jar. Nana gave everyone a great big smile and a good afternoon. She made sure CJ did the same. Hey, can all my beautiful readers out there help me finish reading this book? I know you can do it. Let's go!